Long time no see. So several lovely ladies and I have decided to get together and present protection spell. Hi, my name is Aurora and my channel is Lavender Hazelwood Witches and I'm from the USA. Hi there, I'm Kara from Pagan Crafting and I'm from Canada. Hi, I'm Peck from Peckish Pagan from the shores of the Great Lakes. Hi, my name is Shadow from Shadow Sun, and I am from the USA. Hi, I'm Star from Starlight the Wild Witch, and I'm from the USA. Hi, I'm Tuva from Tuva the Norse Witch, and I come from England. Hi, I'm Colette from Witchways on YouTube, and I live in the United States. So I'm going to be sharing a sustenance spell. What do I mean by sustenance spell? I mean food, specifically food that sustains, food that is going to help you uh, provide strength to, to whatever it is that you're working on. Uh, we are doing, going to be focusing on protection today. And this is something that we eat after we get sick. This is our, our we're feeling better food. It is filling, it is nutritious, it has a, a new take on a very common dish. And I think that you'll enjoy it. It'll provide some nice perspective on food that you already eat and different ways that you can incorporate that into your practice. Stick around while we make Boondashkin. So what did I say? I said Boondashkin. What does that mean? That means fur bread. That is Hungarian um, for fluffy bread, but like a fur fluffy. So what does that mean on our dinner plate? I'll give you three hints. Hint number one is an egg. Stay, stay. Hint number two is a piece of stale bread. And hint number three is about a quarter cup of milk or cream. That of course is cream because I'm a tourist. Um, so you're probably thinking French bread. And you'd be close. In Bundash Genya, we have a savory take on that dish. So where you would be adding sugar, we're adding salt. Cinnamon becomes pepper. And you can stop there, but in our house, we like to add garlic. You can add fresh garlic for, um, just to keep it simple, we're gonna use garlic powder um, I've discovered this lens about the same flavor as fresh. Uh, fresh does have that little bit of something extra that fresh will bring to the table, but the flavors are the same, especially if you're cooking it. Um, and, and you can use fresh in this. It is absolutely delicious. Um, but, but those are the basic ingredients. Now you can switch this out. If you don't like garlic, you can switch it out for onion. You don't have to switch it out for anything, but whatever savory herb. Pick one. What are you working on? Think about your protection spell. This is for protection. You know, are you working on um, abundance? Try parsley. Try maybe a little marjoram or thyme. Um, you, you, can, you can vary this. This is just a new take on a dish that you're familiar with. You can do the same thing with oatmeal. I did that on accident. Um, but this is Bundesh So to make two pieces, we're going to start with one egg. We're going to pull in, this is probably a little more cream than I need. So I'm going to use about half of that. And then I'm going to add salt. Pepper. And we get our garlic. And again, this is optional. You can use whatever additional spice you want or no spice at all. A little sprinkle, just a little extra sprinkle. And 
we do to do. You want to get all of the yellow streaks, all of those clear streaks from your egg. If you're using egg substitute, um, just until this is well mixed. You don't want it um, too frothy because you're you're going to want to put your bread in there. Uh, you want it to soak into that bread a little bit before we get to frying. That's coming up next. In Scott Cunningham's book, Wicket in the Kitchen, he talks about um, Indian Muslims would take an egg and turmeric and salt and wave it at a person who they believe was suffering from the evil eye and take all those items and dispose of them at a crossroads. So there are some instances where eggs are involved in crossroads magic. Now, I have not had a chance to look any of that up and confirm if um, dear Mr. Cunningham was accurate, um, but I do not know him to be inaccurate. So that's another interesting thing that that um, people have used evil eye, uh, the, the egg for this evil eye. When you think about it, it kind of represents the evil eye in that it's got the 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 shell on that 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 inner eye and the yolk. Uh, but those are those are some interesting things. I feel like I may have turned this a little too soon. We're making French toast here. I like it. Olive oil. Get our hair in there. But some of the things to understand about olive oil is that if you like to eat, include elements into your, your foods, and this uh, um, recipe absolutely does, um, olive oil will substitute um, any of the four elements in, in your cooking. So here it is, bundeskinje, or fur bread, or garlic French toast. I decided to cook up that last little bit of egg because I don't like to waste food. Um, this is something we are trying to use to um, improve upon ourselves in the world, right? So don't waste it. So dig in, gonna have some of that first because it's my favorite. Mm. And this is the kind of thing that every time I eat it, it reminds me of that healing feeling, that that feeling of being protected. I'm good now. I'm whole, and I'm I'm fresh and new once again. I'm I'm no longer unwell. Uh, hmm. Good stuff. 